So here we have our Tech Fit Elite underlayer. So this is the shirt that has the heart rate sensors integrated, and you can see here, you can see a little bit from the outside, but we'll, uh, we'll have to take a closer look at that. On the front of the shirt, as you can see here on the outside, is that this is where our fabric heart rate sensors lie. And you can see they're not very easy to see, and it's all part of the garment. This is the back, so you can see it running around. These two pieces together are essentially what the athlete wears. We are currently at the spot where we have heart rate in there. We're looking at adding things like respiration, um, and obviously you're seeing a lot of other things coming into the market at the moment with integrating movement sensors and accelerometers into fabric, which are very, very small and non-invasive. And I think for us working in elite sports, is that's really the key, is that it has to be something that the athlete cannot feel and it doesn't interfere with what they're doing. I mean, we, I think when we first uh, had our first prototype, we went to AC Milan, and they're a very close partner of ours, and they've worked a lot on us on, in terms of user interfaces and how we display data. They're one of the most advanced teams in terms of physiological monitoring, and they, they use a lot of systems, they collect a lot of data, they do a lot of testing on their players, and they're really considered as being on the cutting edge when it comes to uh, this sort of technology. I think the first time we went there with a the prototype is we had these shirts with sensors in built them and at that time we actually still had a physical wire running through the shirts and not, and not in built fabric sensors uh, and we had players cutting off the sleeves of a 500 euro handmade shirt and guys not wanting to wear the shirt they obviously have to be tight to get the heart rate. We have systems out there with uh, the German national team. We've just delivered to Mexico, Argentina, Colombia. Um, we're out there with the entire Major League Soccer as well, and we're really getting a feel for this technology and, and really just starting to understand where we need to take it to, to really get things to the next level and take performance and sport in general to another level. Total time, one hour and 56 seconds. Active time. One hour, 30 seconds. Distance, 8.49 kilometers. High intensity distance, 965. I think sooner rather than later, you're going to see more and more sensors in more and more clothes, and not just in sports, I think in, in everyday life as well. Um, I think just in terms of normal health monitoring and understanding what your body's going through and in health care, uh, and just in, in general, I think people want to understand more about what they're going through and how they can improve on, on how they live. So I think we're starting this at an elite level and at a, a level at which people are getting paid a lot of money to perform. But at the end of the day is we are just measuring things. So it's, it's all about how you use the data and how you present it. Hey guys, can we just come down here? Can I just get you guys in a line on the end there? And just, just like warm up, so jog end to end. So here today, I mean, really we're looking, we've had some software updates recently and I'll be looking at some of the, the changes we've made to user interfaces. So some of them very slight, some of them uh, a bit more major. Um, looking at how we display acceleration as an example. So what we're gonna do here, you can see that these guys, the heart rates are in the blue zone at the moment. So you can see we're down in, in the lower ranges for their heart rate and we're going to warm them up and bring them up to a level at which we can get them playing a game and get, go having a bit more intensity. In my opinion, I really think we're in the, in the bacteria stage. Um, we haven't evolved uh, very far. We're just starting to see the beginnings of, of what you could call life, I suppose, in this space. Uh, you're going to see things get a lot smaller, a lot faster, a lot smarter. And again, you're going to see the platforms evolve, I think, to make more use of these. And I think when, when people talk about wearable technologies, there's so much focus on the actual devices and the sensors, and it's, it's a watch that does all this, but that's not really the important part. And I think uh, you'll see these whole wearable environments, not just devices or, or fabrics or, or, or things, is you'll see environments and platforms growing. And it's really, I think, 
these things become more accepted as they become more seamless, uh, easier to integrate into everyday life and, and actually getting and seeing value from it. So it's, I think it's, it's really it's going to explode. We're in its infancy and uh, there's going to be some exciting things come out of it.